Hi, Saturdays, nearly midnight. I'm just heading to the hospital. I just received a text message from Jorge, our surgeon, telling me to go to the hospital. There's something wrong with Electra and with Maria. Uh, we don't really know what it is yet, but they're both having diarrhea and they're both having losses in the white blood cells. Apparently, Maria is having a blood transfusion right now. And there's no need for that with Electra yet, but, uh, but they are both being watched very closely. This is really heartbreaking. Barely an hour ago, I uploaded a video showing the process of the, the progress of the last 24 hours since her surgery. I mean, really, really don't know what it is. And, and I'm, I'm really worried. Anyway, I'm just heading to the hospital and, and also, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what to think. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just, leave. I'm just leaving now. It's two in the morning, I'm just getting home. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Both, uh, both Electra and uh, Maria are really sick, are really sick. I left the hospital with uh, Maria receiving uh, blood transfusion still. We're gonna see how, how the night goes. Her, her blood results are terrible. Um, she had a slight anemia, but now it's really bad. <clears throat> it's really bad. Electra is, uh, is very depressed as well, and, uh, and she seems to be having anemia as well, uh, on top of uh, diarrhea. Um, if she continues like this, uh, within the next hour, two hours, we'll also give her a blood transfusion. Um, right now, I, I can't confirm what they have, but I have uh, the worst possible suspicions of palincopenia. We're going to know more tomorrow. Um, We'll, we'll know more tomorrow. First thing in the morning, I'll go to the hospital. Okay. Good night. Good morning. I have been receiving updates from the hospital all through the night. Analytics every couple of hours, uh, report on how our cats are doing. And it's really worrying. It's, uh, it's confirmed panleukopenia and it's, uh, it's the worst possible news. Um, I'm now heading to the hospital.
I've just been told that Electra has left us. I, I, I really have no words. We've done so much to save her. And she dies of, uh, of panleukopenia. We're trying to figure out what exactly has happened and how, how, how could she catch it at the hospital? Um, Maria is also gravely ill. One of the problems, one of the reasons why, why this happens um, is because uh, the hospital uh, takes in patients that come from the streets, actually Maria and, and Electra also uh, came from the streets. Usually we have very strict protocols of containment uh, and quarantine for animals in her condition, but, uh, but uh, sometimes when it's a very urgent case, those quarantines are relaxed. And the moment you lower your guard, these things happen. The hospital also treats patients from other rescues. Um, sometimes uh, those cats come from horrible places, from rescues that uh, in their premises don't have the means or the well riddle to to, to provide them a more sanitary condition. And, uh, and those animals uh, have come with panleukopenia before. Uh, every cat that comes to the hospital is routinely tested from infectious diseases and, and panleukopenia. But uh, something must have happened somewhere, and this uh, this has killed Electra. I'm really sorry. I really feel this is devastating because on one side you perform this uh, medical miracle. And then, and then you, you lose them this way. I'm, uh, I'm really deeply sorry. I am sure Electra is now in a better place. She, she passes fighting and she was recovering so well. What a cat. What a cat, what an incredible cat. I know her story touched the hearts of many and you're probably feeling as sad and as touched as I am. I am really, honestly, very sorry. Electra is dead. I'm sorry.